Hello, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. It's noon here on the East Coast. Uh, some special guests with us today. Uh, it is Tuesday. Uh, it is the uh, 19th of May for those folks keeping track at home. Uh, exciting show today. Uh, if you watched Up to Speed Morning this morning, we saw uh, that we uh, invited our new friends from Blue Jeans to join us. We're going to be talking more about Blue Jeans today. We've got Sam Path from the business group and Quentin, who is the leader of the Blue Jeans team, joining us. And I know a lot of our new teammates over there are joining us as well. So before we get into the Q&A and all of the things that are going on, just want to play a quick video uh, so you can get to know some of our new teammates better. Let's go and roll that. All right, team, let's get started. We've got a lot to talk about with the hey, product Wait, 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 launch. one second, one second. Who is this guy not rocking blue jeans gear? Yeah, he's not even wearing denim. Don't think I've seen him around before. Hold on. Is this guy bombing the call? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys already know blue jeans meetings are super secure. This is Andy. I invited him to join us. Hey, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Hi, Andy. Nice to meet you, too. So are you part of the team now, Team Blue? Well... Now that Blue Jeans is officially powered by Verizon, we're all one team. So I thought this would be a good time for the V team and Team Blue to get to know each other. Oh, like get everyone up to speed? Exactly. Blue Jeans is a video conference service that connects teams across a wide range of platforms. And now that team is part of ours. We're incredibly thrilled about the entire opportunity and to be a part of an internationally recognized brand. We're really excited and looking forward to meeting with like-minded people and working with like-minded people at Verizon. In addition to tools like Dolby Voice giving Blue Jeans a crystal clear sound, Team Blue says their smart meeting solution keeps efficiency top of mind. Uh, and this is something that no one else has. And this gives you the ability to be able to capture the best moments of every single meeting simply just by clicking a button. It really empowers us to take control of our time and our productivity. And so when we're interviewing or talking to a customer, it's something that we use and we are able to have a 30, 40 minute discussion with them. It's really easy to be able to go back to have the transcripts of the conversation, to have the highlights of the conversation. It's mission critical. It's something that we are obsessed about also. Uh, improving meeting efficiency for enterprises and improving conferencing culture. We are using our product every day as well as consumers as users and so we ourselves want to make sure that we can have efficient and productive meetings. We're, we're excited about the opportunity. We're excited about the potential. Uh, we're excited about 5G and edge computing and what that can do for video conferencing use cases like distance learning and telehealth. There's so much opportunity. We've really just started to scratch the surface. You know all of us coming together like this it feels good like putting on your favorite pair of jeans or your coolest Canadian tuxedo. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, that'll do it for us, Team Blue. Welcome to the V Team, and until next time, you're up to you're speed. You're up to speed. Not bad for the first time. We'll, we'll practice again later. Great, Andy, there with the uh, the Canadian tuxedo. I appreciate that. I, and no denim today for me, uh, but uh, excited to uh, talk more about blue jeans and what that means for our company. So, I'm going to bring in Sam Path now. And Sam Path, we're using blue jeans to do our broadcast today. Tell us uh, about the deal and why this is so important and ultimately what employees should know right now. Hey, hi everyone. Uh, hope everyone is staying safe and well. Uh, look, we are very excited about Blue Jeans. You know, a couple of reasons why the market for collaboration is exploding. Even pre COVID, the market was growing at 10, 15% plus. Now the market's growing almost 10 times that number. So we have a really exploding market for collaboration software and solutions. Uh, second is this fits in perfectly into the Verizon Business Group strategy where we want to grow above the network. We are the best network in the world, full stop, no questions. But as we start growing above in solutions and platforms, this fits in right there. And the third is the product's awesome. You know, the, we went and looked at many different solutions here. This product is great. The technology is good. And more importantly, it fits our core value system. It's very secure and it's kind of customer centric. So we really like this. Uh, we also think there's a lot of value for customers here, Jeremy. You know, the first one is, look, we get owner's economics. So if we want to look at bundling blue jeans with one talk. We want to bundle blue jeans with some voice solution. Hey, we want to bundle blue jeans with handsets. We are able to do that pretty quickly right now because we have owners economics and we own the platform. 
Uh, look, broader term, we'll do a much deeper integration with the Verizon set of products and ecosystem. Uh, but right now, we are super excited to get them on our network and get all of us selling and distributing blue jeans. Good, Sam Pat. Thank you for that. Now I want to bring in Quentin Gallivan, who is the uh, leader of the Blue Jeans team. Quentin, uh, I know the the core mission of uh, Blue Jeans is to connect customers, and that really rings true for a lot of what we do at Verizon Customers First. Tell us more about Blue Jeans, your your background there, and a little bit about the team and the culture, and who we're uh, asked or who's joining our team now. Exactly. We saw a, a glimpse of this high energy Blue Jeans team. And um, you also got a glimpse of just the cultural alignment, you know, between the two companies. And so for us, as we uh, spent time over the last nine months getting to know uh, the Verizon Business Group team, we had a commercial relationship where you're reselling the product. What really hit home for us was just the cultural alignment is uh, the way you do business, the way you think about business, your core values are just so aligned. It just felt like hand in glove. So that was very important to us. And the other piece that was really important was just the shared vision for the future of work. Um, if you look at what Blue Jeans has built, we're a best of breed video meetings collaboration platform. We've got 15,000 customers. 70% of our business are, is in the enterprise space. 30% is in the SMB. 30% uh, of our business is outside the United States, so it's a nice global footprint. We've got great marquee customers where they're, where they're strategic provider. We go deep across all kinds of use cases. So you kind of take what we built and you marry that with um, a shared vision for the future of work with Verizon Business Group. You marry that with your significant distribution capabilities, your customer base, uh, your infrastructure. Uh, we truly believe if you want to be the best of breed meetings collaboration platform, you have to be the best. And while we think we are the best, our ability to leverage the Verizon infrastructure um, and the mobile edge compute, we're going to change the game in terms of how what the benchmark is for quality, speed, late, lack of latency and security. And so we couldn't be more excited. Um, at Team Blue Jeans to be part of, we used to call it Team Blue. Now we're excited to be Team Blue, part of Team V. And so that's kind of the uh, way we're opening up our meetings now. And um, we're very, very excited. And I just think there's great cultural business strategic fit here. Good. That's uh, awesome. Some folks want to know, you know, this this marketplace is so competitive right now. You have so many other other people out there. Why is Blue Jeans the one to go with? Well, I think there's, you know, if you look at our, our heritage, I mean, we've been doing scale cloud video collaboration for 10 years. Um, so one, you just got to, particularly working with large, the largest companies in the world, you get experience, as you know, in doing that. The other piece, particularly for the enterprise where we had advantages over the others, is that we integrate with all the investments and technology tools that our customers have, right? We don't make them throw anything out. So if they're a Cisco shop when it comes to their endpoint meeting room systems, we integrate natively. If they're a Microsoft Office 365 going to Teams shop and they want to go wall to wall, we make that happen. If they're a Polycom environment, if they use Slack, right? If they use Google, um, Google Apps, we integrate natively into all those environments so the customers can have a single superior visual video collaboration experience across the tools that they use. And so that's been 10 years of work in, in making that happen. And we have a significant advantage uh, to other competitors in that space. And then again, just put that on top of all the assets, products, distribution capability that uh, Verizon brings and it's a pretty big deal. And just like one, one thing I want to highlight is what you saw over the, the, the work from home surge um, is that um, not only was it important to be able to scale uh, and very quickly, and we had to, over a weekend in the middle of March, scale our service 300% over that weekend to handle the surge. But you also saw that security became a big deal uh, during the uh, work from home surge. And some competitors did better than others. And so for us, security was sort of job one. That's where we were founded. And then being part 
uh, we've really worked hard to build a trusted brand. Now marrying that with a trusted brand and the secure infrastructure that Verizon brings, security is going to be a very important uh, decision criteria for enterprises. They look to expand their video collaboration footprint. Good, Quentin. Thank you for that. Sam Path, uh, one more question about blue jeans. Uh, a lot of employees want to know a lot of questions coming in right now. When can they start using it? And I know there's a whole process with IT that's being worked, but what can you share with employees? Yeah, you know, Shankar and Greg Sly are giving me the side eye on this. So, uh, look, the, we want to do this right. You know, we want to integrate it deep into our network. Also, some of the capabilities around Dolby sound quality and others require us to change some of our practices. So our GTS organization, we're working very closely with them to start the integration. I would say a couple of months before we get it completely done right. Now, our sellers, our selling teams have started selling blue jeans yesterday. So for them, we have a slightly more accelerated program. It won't be a full integration, but we'll get them set up with blue jeans accounts in the next couple of days. But for the broader organization, give us a couple of months because we want to get it right. Every problem that you've had with, uh, you know, your current solution and others, we would like to solve it with blue jeans, but just give us a little more time and be patient. Good. Thank you for that. And Quentin, one final uh, wrap up. People love the name. Where did blue jeans come from originally? How did that come to be? Well, the two founders who you're all going to get to meet, <clears throat> we just call them Christian Alagu. Uh, when they founded the company over 10 years ago, they wanted to make sure that video conferencing, which was really hard to do, complicated uh, at the time, 10 years ago, that it was comfortable as a pair of blue jeans. That was huh. simply the, uh, the, that was the, that's why they came up with the name of the company. Yeah. Well, it works. It fits. Uh, so that yeah. is a, a name that is stuck. <laughs> that is great, Quentin. Thank you so much. Uh, and again, welcome to uh, Team Blue Jeans. Sam Path, I uh, know you're part of the Verizon Business Group. want to switch gears and ask you some other uh, business-related things as well. Quentin, we'll keep you around if there are other uh, there are other questions that come in that can go your way. Uh, today, uh, the Data Breach Investigations Report, or the DBIR, was released, uh, Sam Path. What is that, and why is it so important uh, in the business space? Yeah, DBIR, you know, it's a mouthful. It basically stands for Data Breach Investigation Report. So every year for the last 13 years, we've been doing this. It's kind of a seminal report the Verizon Business Group publishes uh, because of our presence in the amount in large number of networks, as well as the amount of security work we do for some of our biggest accounts and clients. We have a really interesting view of what goes on in the market and what goes on in these breaches and security incidents. So we've been able to look at 32,000 incidents, almost 4,000 different breaches. We collect reports, you know, reports and data from 80 other organizations and produce this report. It's basically the most up-to-date as well as most accurate trends in what is going on in cybersecurity in the world today. And we, you know, we've done it for 13 years, so we've got good trending and we've got good data on this. A couple of big takeaways, Jeremy, you know, from, from my vantage point. I think the first one is uh, money is still at the root of most breaches. In other words, most breaches are driven by greed and, financi and financial reasons. The biggest one in that is ransomware. You know, ransomware is still very, very big. Almost one fourth or 25% of all breaches have that. Next is credit cards. People want access to credit cards. People want access to financial information. So. Almost 90% of all breaches are still driven by financial reasons. The second one is as you know, most companies move to cloud-based applications, it does expose them. You know, a large percentage of the breaches were web applications, uh, you know, and a lot of it is credential stealing, social theft, uh, phishing. You know, they almost make up 70% of all our breaches. You know, phishing is still a very big uh, source of uh, you know people getting access to data, where they set up sites that look like other sites, and then they use it to get into in, you know get into information they shouldn't be. So, look for us, uh, this is a very important report. Uh, we have a very large and growing security business; it's growing double digits uh, as we help companies uh, deal with cybersecurity. Look, our approach has been pretty straightforward, which is we identify the risks. We protect the company's assets from the risk. 
we detect them when they happen and then we respond to them. You know, in fact, most of the big breaches in the world, the first call people tend to make is to the Verizon uh, incident response teams. So we are there first helping them identify what happened and more importantly, to prevent it from happening again. So look, this is a big business for us. And, uh, you know, the, the team's done a phenomenal job. Look, I would recommend people go, even if you don't want to read the 120 page report, read the executive summary. It's around 10 pages. It's really well written, easy to read. It's good for you to know what's going on with the market, but also cybersecurity in general. Yeah, I love the uh, the interactive website that we saw there. You can click in and really dive deep into some some interesting data. I uh, appreciate you sharing that information. And I know another part of the job of the business group is connecting large enterprises and, and keeping them connected throughout everything. What are some of the challenges that these large enterprises are still facing, Sampath, and how are we helping them through that? Yeah, you know, let me bridge the two topics. Uh, you know, COVID has exposed the amount of threat surface for cybersecurity massively because people are working from homes. They're working on home laptops. They're working with roommates. They're working over, you know, Wi-Fi connections with, uh, you know, with passwords as password or one, two, three, four. They're working in shared spaces in the lobbies of their buildings. So it's a very different security infrastructure than when people are used to working from their offices. Uh, the biggest risk I see, and it, it kind of showed up in the DBIR as well, is phishing attacks. Uh, and we've seen a massive surge of phishing attacks post lockdown and post COVID. Uh, in the US, most of them are driven by stimulus checks. Uh, as people are getting the stimulus checks and unemployment checks from uh, their respective governments, people are trying to intercept that through phishing schemes. So, you know, we've asked people to be careful about that. We have a lot of solutions to help companies manage that as well. Broader for global enterprise, Jeremy, Look, we serve some of the largest and most complicated uh, businesses in the world. So the largest banks in the world, the largest trading floors, the largest healthcare companies, the largest retailers and e-commerce companies, we serve them you know, pretty much end to end. A uh, couple of big things we are seeing. Uh, one is security is big because of in just the you know, things we figured out in the DPI report. Two is people want remote connectivity. And people are trying to figure out how the workplace of the future will evolve. So we've done some phenomenal work, uh, you know, with our partner organizations last uh, couple of days. Uh, you know, first one is some of the largest banks in the world. They've moved their massive trading flows. These are flows with 800 to 1,000 people, you know, trading. It all happens from everyone's living room and bedrooms and lobbies. We've enabled them to move their trading flows out, you know, e-commerce. You know, most companies have seen a three, four hundred percent surge in e-commerce. Uh, we've enabled a lot of that work. Another one is retailers offering curbside pickup. It, it, the whole thing happened in two days. Uh, we got a lot of work for remote connectivity to set it up. And then lastly, look, healthcare. You know, as some of our frontline heroes work, we've enabled remote testing centers, remote uh, locations where people are dropping off things. Also, you know, most hospitals are opening up annex departments or you know, turning the parking lot into uh, triage centers. We've enabled a lot of that work. Uh, look, lastly, the way I would capture this is COVID has taken 10 years worth of digital transformation and crushed it in a two to three week horizon. Uh, as our customers and uh, partners come out of it and get ready to reimagine the future, I think there's a phenomenal role for Verizon Business Group to play in enabling that business transformation. Uh, there's an opportunity for us to reimagine the business, and I think uh, we'll be there for that. Awesome, Sam Path. I appreciate the updates and all of the work that the business team is doing uh, across the world to keep folks connected. Uh, Sam Path, Quentin, thanks so much for joining uh, to talk about Blue Jeans and the current state of Verizon business. Now, before we go, I, I do want to share some other news with folks. Uh, we've launched a few devices uh, since we've been in this pandemic, and there's another one. The future of 5G is now. Check this out. George is giving us all of the details of the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G UW that is coming to Verizon. Check it out. It's here. The Samsung Galaxy S20 5G UW is coming to Verizon, and pre-orders start this Thursday, May 21st. At 6.2 inches, the Galaxy S20 is the smallest phone in the Galaxy S20 series, but has many of the same great features as its older siblings, including a powerful 64 megapixel camera, a gorgeous display, and the power of Verizon's 5G ultra-wideband network 
right in the palm of your hand. Today I want to talk about how I use the Galaxy S20 for work and play in this new normal. Here are all the cool features that help me get through my day. First up, the Galaxy S20 has a camera setting called Single Take that shoots about 20 seconds of footage and then works its magic behind the scenes to give you an assortment of short videos, photos with photo filters, and shots from different angles. This is great if you have kids or pets and want to capture all that cuteness. I know battery life isn't sexy, but there's something to be said about being able to jump in the shower between meetings and knowing that your phone will be charged almost in half by the time you're done. Even cooler, I use my Galaxy Buds Plus for all my conference calls, and being able to power share off my phone at the same time is a huge bonus. No one likes a drain bud, no one. Look, I love to listen to music when I work from home and so does my wife. The Galaxy S20 has a music share feature that allows two Galaxy phones to be hooked up to the same Bluetooth speaker at the same time so you both can control it. No more fighting over music. Speaking of working from home, sometimes I just don't want to fire up my work laptop if I'm nowhere near it or I'm just running late. To make life easier, I can tether my Galaxy S20 to my other computer using DeX and control my phone apps with my keyboard and mouse. It makes it so much easier to write and send emails this way. Only 2,000 more emails until inbox zero. Finally, when the day is winding down, there's nothing I love more than lying on the couch and watching a horror movie using that snappy 120 hertz display with Dolby Atmos activated. The Samsung Galaxy S20 5G UW will be available for pre-order on Verizon in an assortment of colors, including this gorgeous exclusive cloud white starting May 21st. Visit verizonwireless.com today for pricing, promos, and more information. Thank you, George. Thank you, Allison. And thank you, Gabe, for the uh, the update there from the home front about the uh, new device that is available for pre-order on Thursday. Like George said, you can go to verizonwireless.com to uh, get more details and, and share that good news. Now, before we wrap up today, I want to share a couple of things with you. Chris, if you can go ahead and take that first slide. Uh, I'd like to share some thanks with folks. Uh, this one is going out to our team uh, on the 5G lab side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you know, we have a lot of kind of uh, robots and different things that we work with a lot. So we recently donated several of those uh, that have been in our 5G labs and innovation centers to various organizations. They can be remote controlled to go into COVID patient rooms and collect information from patients, lessening the interaction of healthcare workers. You can see some of those there that we have put out in the field. And don't forget, tonight is uh, Pay It Forward Live. Uh, tonight, we've got uh, the gamers taking on the uh, NFL tight end, George Kittle. He's trading in his football for a game controller. That starts at 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, of course, you can watch that on Twitter, uh, on Verizon's Twitter, as well as uh, Yahoo. And we'll be streaming on uh, Fios Channel 501. Watch Pay It Forward Live in support of small businesses. It begins at 8 p.m. tonight, uh, so you don't want to miss that. A lot of gamers really enjoying the Tuesday night editions of Pay It Forward Live, and uh, glad we can bring that to the mess. We're helping small businesses. That will do it for us today. Reminder, uh, if you haven't talked to some friends or family in a while, reach out to them, let them know you're thinking about them, and just a simple hello goes a long way. We'll be back with you again tomorrow talking a little bit more about our network uh, and some 5G things that we're doing. So we will see you then. My thanks again to Sam, Pat, and Quentin. And until next time, you're up to speed. Excuse me, thanks, Jeremy. Mister, I fell on hard times. I need some help. I don't need a dime. Day after day. Pulling up my side. It says we'll work for love. I will. I will. I will. Please pay it forward to support the local businesses you love. Buy gift cards. Order to go. Shop local online. Pay it forward.